Hallo meine Freundin, es ist Yu-Gi-Oh! Team Backfire hier mit ein, äh, mit ein neues Deckprofil. Äh, wir hat ein Arthurgast äh, Deckprofil für sich. Es ist sehr gut. Hey guys, it's uh, why your Team Backfire here. Uh, it's Sly. We've got a horrible uh, Arthurgast Deckprofil with Exiles. So Exiles, take it away. Yeah, so first, we're going to be talking about the stuff that negates the most, you know, Cyframe Gamma and Cyframe Driver. Uh, you know, just to negate stuff and stuff sends off to the grave. It's kind of like the best of both worlds with both Ash Blossom and Ghost Ogre. Yeah, that's the card. Yeah, that trash card, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so time to get on to the uh, main focus of the deck, the Altergeist cards. There's uh, three Quinquiry, three Marionetter, three Multifaker, three Suquitus, and three Meloseek. A short summer of each card. Uh, Quinquiry is basically Balfader and Effect Failure makes into one. Mayor Netter is like the Strauss of the deck, except it's not banned. It only searches traps, though, so don't, don't let your hopes up. <laughs> and the second effect is that if you control, uh, you can send one Altergeist card you control to the grave, and one Altergeist monster in your grave, you can bring that back to the field. Uh, Multi Faker is whenever a trap is activated, your hand, uh, not, whenever a trap is activated, you can summon this card from your hand, and you can summon an Altergeist from your deck to your field and defense. It fakes people out. Yeah. Wow, I didn't think of it that way. <laughs> Anyways, uh, Silquitus is basically the match to Kieran, but just water down a little bit. And if this card is sent from your field to the grave, you can target an Altergeist trap in your grave and add to your hand. And my favorite card, Mellow Seek. Uh, this card can attack your opponent directly, and when it's uh, inflicts battle damage to your opponent, you can target one card your opponent controls and send to the grave. And if this card is sent from the field to the grave, you can uh, add one Altergeist monster from your deck to your hand. That basically rounds up all 19 monsters. So let's go to the spells. I think I have seven of them. Uh, there's Raigeki, Dark Hole, three Paw Duality, and two Scapegoat. Raigeki and Dark Hole are kind of obvious. They you know they, they destroy stuff. It's to keep your board safe from anything. Yeah. Scapegoat is also to keep your boats board safe. And also for the uh, the second purpose of your the majority of your extra deck, which is basically link monsters. And duality is duality. You use it just to search stuff out. Uh, for the traps, there are three materialization and three protocol. Protocol is the MVP trap, in my opinion. It basically makes sure all your Altergeist cards can be activated and not be negated. See, he only likes and protocol because it's uh, it's like him. He doesn't like to not follow protocol, hence why he's not creative. Fair enough. <laughs> protocol, so the second effect is when your opponent activates a monster effect, you can send another face of guys you, monster you control. Alter fight, alter guys card you control, and it's my mistake. The grave, they get the activation, and if you do destroy it. Materialization is like Call of the Haunted on steroids. It basically brings back an alter guys monster from your grave and attack, but, and you have to equip materialization to the monster. And when materialization leaves the field, you can banish just banish the materialization from the grave and target one altergeist trap in your grave and add to your hand. Then we have three mirror force, two strike, no, uh, three strike. I, I, I'd say three strike. I don't know why I said two. And psalm warning. You know, three strike because strike, warning because warning, and three mirror force. Uh, you could do storm mirror force, but I prefer the regular mirror force. And Especially the last with the new card, pendulum format. Yeah, that's that's true. And the last card is Imperial Order for the main deck because you know no spells <laughs> for the extra deck. Not even your the, own. <laughs> yeah, not, not even my own. For the for the extra deck, the Utopia package because the Utopia package. Uh, any generic rank five. I chose Volcasaurus because I like Volcasaurus. It's like a cool version of Ring Destruction. And Baguska because it's Baguska. Why Baguska? The, <laughs> well, no, why not? Right? <laughs> so, for the other 11 cards of the extra deck, it's all Link monsters. Uh, Poro Load, Saryuja, Firewall, Decode. The first three are pretty good. I mean, there's a reason why Firewall is limited to one. Poro Load Dragon's extremely good. Poro Load's only not limited to one because it's only played at one in the first place. <laughs> no point. Yeah, basically. <laughs> And, you know, the, the Skull of Dread is pretty much your consistency in some cases. D 
Deco Talker is Deco Talker. I mean, it's kind of generic. Okay, the next two are Altergeist Premade Banshee and Hexia. I would say run two of each, but you, you can just do whatever you want to. Premade Banshee is uh, during the main phase, you can tribute one of the Altergeist monster, a special summon from your deck to like any zone it points to. And then um, if this card is sent from the field to the grave, you can target the guy's card to the grave and add to your hand. Hexia is the, I, in my own opinion, the better version of this, uh, better link monster. It is only because it gains attack equals to the uh, original attack of the altergeist monster it points to. So if you, for example, you have Marionetta and you have Alt Hextia, Hextia would gain Marionetta's attack, so it would have 3100 attack. Not bad. Uh, Hextia's effect, when a spell or trap card is activated, you can tribute an altergeist monster this card points to, and you can get the activation and destroy it. And if Hexia will be sent to the grave, you can add an Altergeist card from your deck to your hand. Uh, rounding up the extra deck would be Mrs. Radiant and Proxy Dragon. Yeah, that's it, basically. Yep, it's a pretty good profile. It's not the best, because, you know, it's, it's exiled here. He, of course, makes the worst profiles, really. But, you know, <laughs> what yeah, can the I main say? Purpose of the, the main purpose of this deck is just, like, stall your opponent out. Like, make like make them frustrated, I guess. It's kind of trolley. I mean, with Suck With Ace, it's kind of like, a, like I said before, it's a war down version of Kieran with multi faker. It's you can summon Suck With Ace from the deck if, whenever a trap card is activated. Um, what is with that? It's, it's little raccoon guy who went around along with Kieran, right? Baba Boon, right? No, no, not Baba Boon. You know that that level three uh, Magic Specter card, you know? Do you not know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I don't, I don't know the name because I, I, I hate Magic Spectre just in general. <laughs> yeah, you're playing uh, Magic Spectre's 2.0. Yeah, basically, it's <laughs> kind of like Magic Spectre's and a whole bunch of like hand traps. You learn uh, that protocol, you love what you hate, right? <laughs> yeah, Alter Guys Protocol, Alter Guys Sequitus, and Alter Guys Multifakers like the main combo of this deck, just because of the fact that if you have those three on the board, then you can practically recycle your entire play over and over again and make your play salty. <laughs> Throw on that salt. Yeah. I mean, why not, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's all I have for you. I mean, so uh, do to do. <laughs> subscribe, like, comment. It, yes, Let this is the first time we're going to actually ask that. Subscribe to the channel, you know? Like, comment, tell uh, Explorex how much he sucks because he's not here. Um, yeah. Yeah. So uh, see you guys next time on Dragon Ball Z Kai. Yeah, actors are hard. <laughs>